How to make sourdough bread. Hi, my name's Ariana Stefan and I've been making sourdough bread for over 20 years now and it's really easy so I thought I'd just go through it with you. I've got everything written down so you don't have to worry about um, recipe. Uh, before you can make your bread you need to have your sourdough starter which is just water and flour mixed together. So a few days before you make the bread you need to start um, preparing the, the leaven and you just uh, mix your flour and water together, whisk it together so there are no lumps in it and put it in a, a bowl, preferably a glass bowl, cover it up and let the bowl stand in a warm place for two or three days. Then it will go um, bubbly and, and it'll smell like yeast or beer. So you check it every 12 hours or so just to make sure it's going along all right. Um, you'll know if it's not because it won't smell nice. If, it, if it's going well, it smells sweet and, and yeasty. So then when that's um, fermented the first time, you get another cup of flour and a couple of cups of water and uh, mix, mix that together again and add that to the mix again and then leave it for another 24 or 48 hours until it ferments again. Then it's ready to use. And that leaven will last for years. I've had the same leaven that I made over 20 years ago um, and I've used that the same leaven up to today. So you just use some in your bread and you leave some over and then when you've made your bread you add more flour and water to the leaven that you've already got left over and, and use that the next time. Just keep going for years and years. So the sourdough bread's just flour and water. You can just use flour and water or else you can put other things in, seeds and grains. I like to put seeds and grains in to make it into more of a um, whole grain loaf. And I like to use organic ingredients as well because it's just a better quality bread and much more nutritious. So make sure you put, when you put your leaven, add your leaven to the flour and the flour and um, seed mix, uh, you add two cups of the leaven which has been left at room temperature and, and maybe a bit warmer. You can just sit it, sit it in a bowl, sit your container of leaven in a bowl of warm water to warm it up a bit before you use it. That activates the yeast in it more. So then you add enough water to mix the flour to a good, a good mixable dough, not too sticky. Um, once you've got it to the, uh, and, and I can't say the the definite amount of water because it depends on the um, the flour you're using, the amount of flour and the type of flour and how many seeds and other things you put in the bread too. So you just mix it until you think it's a good consistency, but not too sticky. Then turn it out onto a board and you knead it for a couple of minutes. Um, add more flour if it's too sticky and just get it to a good consistency where you can make it into form it into a, a nice loaf then you put the loaf into a tin which i line with baking paper because it allows the bread to come out of the tin much easier so then the bread is just left until it rises and this can take anything from an hour to even up to 12 hours so you just make the bread at the time of day that you that is convenient for you to cook it when it's ready I, I obviously I make it in the morning and um, cook it in the evening when it's risen but you can make it in the evening and leave it to rise overnight as long as it's in a warm spot anyway so once it's risen you just cook it in a hot oven which is um, 200 degrees Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit and um, I cook it for 70 minutes Again, it, it can depend 60 to 70 minutes. It really just depends and you'll find out as you're going along. It makes a really great loaf. It's very filling, lasts for ages, uh, stays fresh for ages. So that's really all you do. And the reason I've got the time to tell you about all this is because I work from home. I have my own online business. And um, so that I, I only work part time in that and it gives me time to do the things that I really love doing. Um, 
I tried for a long time to make money on, um, to make um, a business from home. Uh, spent a lot of money but didn't get anywhere. But then I got into, uh, with a group of people who are teaching me, um, really tested ways of learning how to make make money working online. That It works. Uh, I'm starting to get results. It's only small at the moment, but it's building. The people that I'm working with collectively have earned millions, many millions of dollars in just in the last year. So if you're in, at all interested in finding out how you can have much more spare time to do the things you love, uh, click the link, be, click the button below this video or have a look at the link in the video description. And thanks very much for listening. Bye.